Hi guys, it is the morning here and we just spent the night in our van and I just wanted to give you a full tour of everything that's in here and show you what it looks like when it's all put together and when it's in driving mode. So let me tell you about the van first. So it's a 2018 uh, Toyota Sienna and we built it so that it could sleep not only me, my husband, but also my daughter and my son which means they also needed to have space in order to sit while we are driving. So in order to do all of that, we had to be extra creative and we also wanted to make sure that we had an area with a kitchen and a toilet and everything that would be accessible to us with enough storage for us all. So that was the main requirements for our van. Oh, other than the fact that everything needs to be able to be taken out and put away and the van be put back to normal without any trace whatsoever of there ever being a van built because I didn't want to drill anything or anything like that in here. So let me go ahead and show you where I woke up and then I will show you the van. Okay, so I kind of showed this part a little bit in a different video, but it is all put together now. And I kind of just want to go through all the details with you so you can see what there is. Um, so you can see on top, we have a cushion. And this is for my daughter's bed because she actually will be sleeping across the top here. And this little like table type thing here will open up and it will spread across this open gap area to fill that in for her bed. And then in this area, we have our little bucket toilet that we use just for emergencies. Um, and behind it, we have just a bunch of different things for our kitchen and our toilet. So some toilet paper and soap and whatnot. And even a mirror, which is always nice to have when you're brushing your teeth. And behind this little table area, there's like a cubby. It's kind of hard to see, but back there is just our stove and some stuff for the toilet. And then over here, we have our kitchen area. So you can see we have a sink, which is uh, used with the submersible pump. We have it wired to our battery. We just turn it on and we have water. So, we use that switch just to keep it from going off when we don't want it to. And then underneath here is our water tanks. So we have our fresh water and our gray water tank down here. And that's pretty much all there is there. Um, so let's just move this cushion. So under here is just a little storage area where we can store our fuel and our spices and different snacks and whatever and that's all it's in there and then over here is our fridge you can see the vent down at the bottom and what we can do is open the top which will cause this little counter to fall but we can open that and access our fridge and this is just a Dometic thermal electric cooler and it holds a lot more than I was expecting so that's good and then this like I said is just a little counter for cooking or cutting things or whatever and I can also use the surface on top for prepping food and all that underneath our fridge we have a little shelf that just has this uh, cutting board and a little Tupperware that holds just different kitchen items like bowls and utensils and coffee and whatever else. And the shelf is actually removable. So that way we can access underneath. And what is underneath is our battery, which is in the front here. And then the back is just a um, food basket. So we have all of our dry foods in there, our, I guess our non-perishable foods. And we also have a pot that is like a pot and a frying pan combined here all together. So it's very convenient. It's easy to get to for the most part. And then over here is uh, an inverter that we use. This one is just connected to our battery maintainer to charge our battery while we drive. And we also have another um, 
European style inverter in the back, which is plugged into a um, couple of different like extension cord sockets. And that's where our refrigerator is plugged into. And one other thing that I wanted to point out was um, behind here, this white stuff is actually like a waterproof tablecloth fabric that I found. And we just put it on the back of the seat just to kind of keep it from getting wet or dirty because, you know, there's water and a toilet back here. So, and we also have this uh, curtain, which is just being held up with a bungee cord that goes across our grip bars. And this is just for privacy if we are using the toilet. Um, we're a family of four, so, you know, Privacy is always nice to have. <laughs> Here it is. Um, so we are a family of four, like I said, which means we need to have our seats up so that our kids can see, sit while we're driving. And so this is where they'll be sitting. Um, we just have some pillows on the bench, their seats, some water bottles. And then underneath, we also have some more pillows, uh, sleeping bags, and this little Halloween bucket because my kids tend to get motion sickness occasionally. And so twice now we've had accidents in the car with throwing up, so we figured we'll be prepared this time. Um, but other than that, you can see there is these uh, pieces of wood here, and these are just the base of my son's bed. When we put it together, this will be lifted up and it will be used to support the bed. And also over here, you can see this is like an extension USB cable. This is plugged into the inverter in the back. And that is there for this little light. It's just a little USB light that we got from, um, it's an Ikea light. I mean, I got it for a dollar from someone else, but it's a very it's like nice little light. There's one over there as well. Um, so let's keep going. So you can see here at the very entrance, there is a beautiful little Minnie Mouse table. This is one of those kids fold up card tables that you can get. I got that for $3 on Facebook Marketplace, so I figured it worked out pretty well. It actually fits in the middle here if we needed to eat inside. Um, and then we have some camp chairs that are stored here. And also some the kids ones were able to fit in the front under our bed. Um, as you can see, this is our bed right here. Um, this is our mattress. I just got a three inch foam topper for um, mattresses and we covered it in two fitted sheets. And on the one, I put this elastic onto it so that it doesn't like come off while we're driving or using it. And behind the table here, everything falls out, sorry. Anyway, behind the table and chairs underneath the bed, there is a bin. And this is just a bin for storage. Um, we have the kids' sleeping bags are inside of here. And then under all of that, you can see, are their clothes and different items. So this is my son's and daughter's. Um, and we're able to fit quite a bit in there, surprisingly. So that's what is in there. And there's another one on the other side for me and my husband. And I will go ahead and show you what it looks like from the other side. Okay, this is the view from the other side. So this piece of wood is my son's bed. And it's just attached to his cushion or his mattress that he uses when he's sleeping on it. Um, and I will show you a picture of what it looks like when it's put together. But this is kind of just being held in place by being smushed behind that handlebar there. And um, behind that, all there is, again, is, you can see, another plastic container. And this one is my husband's and mine. Um, and then we also have space as well for other little things. We have a little fold-up stool here. Um, I figured we could always use that for sitting if we needed to sit inside the van or whatever to eat and whatnot. Um, I will show you how everything is set up when we're in sleep mode later when we get all that put together. But let me just show you the front, the cockpit area. So it's pretty typical. Um, we have our coffee cups down here. We have our fans. They are USB chargeable, so we'll be charging them while we drive. Um, my daughter put one in the window for us. These are these clip on, and so you can just clip them basically wherever you want. 
And last thing is our curtain, which is also held on by a bungee cord. And we just have little snaps in the middle and ties here that tie to these handlebars to keep it closed. So that's pretty much everything. I will go ahead and show you what it looks like in sleep mode. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what we do in order just to set up um, my bed, my, my husband's bed. Alright everyone, we are in the van and we're set up for the night and so I just wanted to show you quickly kind of what it looks like from the inside when we're in sleep mode. Um, we're kind of doing this a little bit, trying to be a little stealthy. We can't seem to be 100% stealthy when we're setting things up. But for that reason, I'm not going to get out of the van and show you everything. I'm just going to show you how it looks from inside. Um, so let me turn the camera around so you can see. Right. So this is my son's bed. You can see my feet and my husband's feet are down here underneath. Diego, stay there so I can see. And my son is set up above us and hiding behind him. Oh, my daughter. And so we kind of showed you um, how we set her bed up earlier she's she's snug as a bug in there so sometimes she comes down and lays with us when she gets a little bit over being there um but this is our bed my husband is about six feet long and he kind of has to sleep at a bit of an angle in order to stretch out completely but overall um it, we make it work so you see yeah kind of at an angle and he can get pretty much what he needs for that and then all right so i know that i showed you a little bit last night of what how everything looked when we put together as a bed but it was a bit dark so i just wanted to show you it while it's light outside so you can see a little bit better um let me just see so like i said this is where my husband and i sleep my daughter joined us last night in the middle of the night as well so we are all able to sleep on here not as comfortably as if it was just me and my husband but it works and when we lay out we have barely enough space to stretch out but we got enough and my son sleeps along this platform here which is like i said being supported there and we have them attached to these cords here with these um carabiners and paracord and we have our fan set up and everything. Anything that we can't use, we just put underneath the bed at nighttime so that it's out of the way or along the side of the bed over here. And whatever else that's not too suspicious looking, we throw in the front seat just to get it out of the way. Um, I already showed you how my daughter's bed looks, um, so that's everything.